Hello everyone, Leather Jean Scale here, also known as Scale. And welcome back, sorry. Welcome back to more Life is Strange Before the Storm. So, all that's left now is going into Drew's room. Gotta make sure that nobody's home, right? Alright. I should probably just get the money and get out of here. Yep. Okay, I knocked. Ain't nobody there, so... Because there's no way Drew would know it's me. I have the desire to get out of here quickly. However, given how this game works, it's not going to be time-based. Like, He's got D&D &D stuff. Is that for Mikey? <sighs> Drew's not here. Wait, is... Okay. <sighs> if I... Oh my god. His parents, his dad lost his job. Uh, who knows if they're currently homeless now as a result of this. Drew has a safe place to live at the school. I, I think what happened is that he has Mikey living with him now so that this way it's less of a financial burden on their parents until their parents can get back onto their feet because of the rich family that just made them jobless and arguably homeless now. And I bet we're going to find some sort of information about that. For Drew, where would I hide my money? Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. And you're going to screw that up by having that disorderly conduct thing with, um... Why can I picture him but not think of his last name? The rich kid. It'll come to me later. Like, hold up. Let me just... Let, actually... Holy uh, shit, I just Drew. pressed the wrong button. Uh, Nathan. Yeah, Nathan. It's been a while. Holy okay, shit. Okay, 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 okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. College scholarship? So, yeah, you're going to risk... Uh, let me, let me read this first. Uh, August 1st, 2009, Blackwell Academy. Okay, and this was sent by Oregon State University, so. Uh, dear Andrew, it is my great pleasure to award you a full athletic scholarship to play football at Oregon State University. We know that a young man of your skills and character would make a great addition to the OSU franchise? Franchise. Franchise? Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry about that, but there is no way. There's no, like, I, I've completed college. I have a degree in, in English literature. Um, there, I, the college I went to would never call themselves the KSU franchise. It, it's, no, they're they're trying to set up an image the same way that Disney World does of being a nice, family-friendly place. Colleges try to separate themselves as much as they can from being a corporate entity in the public eye, so there's no way that they would call it the OSU franchise. It's not happening. Anyway. We know that a young man of your skill and character would make a great addition to the OSU franchise, a football dynasty that has produced NFL talent for decades. Okay, that last line they would have, but franchise, no. Okay, so Drew is willing to risk his full athletic scholarship to OSU. I feel like I can't say OSU because when I say that, I think of Ohio State University, whose football team is probably better than Oregon State's. I, I've got nothing to back that up with, just the fact that I know that, like, the entire state is rabid for Ohio State University. But anyway. Um, so, yeah, you're willing to risk that for what? A light physical altercation to get out your frustrations over the fact that Nathan's dad cost your dad his job? Like, that's a very real thing to be upset about. But you're going to risk your scholarship for that? Are you dumb? Have you been taking too much of that stuff that you've been selling to other people? Like, what? Dude. No. And what? Mikey's not sitting there talking him out of anything? Like, not that I'm trying to, like, blame Mikey, but... I, come on. Bet the dinner choices are steak or steak. 
you know what? I would, I agree with her on that one. BW Varsity Award Dinner. In part because any time that I've been to an award dinner, you know how hard it is to try to get anything that doesn't have a meat involved in it? Like, not, not that I'm trying to be picky. I just, like, come on, at least offer me a salad. S- like, something? Please? Preferably not an iceberg, though. Those are... I hate iceberg salads. I like dark greens. You get more nutrients in those, but... <sighs> For the love of God. Yep, mood. Oh, it's signed by each one of them. That's interesting. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Um, Department of Admission or Admissions for I'm gonna imagine that oh, oh, I was I was reading the, the tagline. I was like University of Oregon.edu, and then like it says it in the letter. Um, Dear Andrew, congratulations in light of your incredible achievements as a high school football player and student. I am pleased to extend an official scholarship offer to you. That didn't word right, but okay. They should have just gotten like their... By this point, Square Enix is well established. They have money. Why didn't for the writing of this, why didn't they just like ask their like PR team how they would write the letter and then just have them use that? Anyway, um to extend an official scholarship offer to you. Oh, but like how much is the offer? Is it a full ride? Is it a partial? Usually like if you're going to have it, um in a a scholarship letter, they're going to like, tell you, like, oh, yeah, we've, uh, it'll take, like, $10,000 off of, you know, you have the scholarship available for $10,000, or, because I, I've had one, I, one that I remember, and I think it was, like, for 12000 or something like that, um, and they, they outline that in the letter, so, we truly feel that you are, oh, wait, sorry, I skipped one, um, I, A University of Oregon degree is one of the most prestigious academic institutions in the Pacific Northwest. What would he, like, I feel like you'd go to school for anything. And now I'm just, like, getting flashbacks to that whole scandal with, um, with Aunt Becky. We truly feel that you are a student athlete who has the potential to make, ooh, sorry, my fiance's computer turned on on its own and I just, it scared me. Anyway. We truly feel that you are a student athlete who has the potential to make an important impact on both our team and our student body. As the head coach, I am here to assist you and support you on your journey to succeed. The details of the scholarship offer are as follows. Oh, okay. So they do have it written and like explaining more. I really should before I like trash talk, uh, like the, these letters, I should probably like read them in full. I just, I'm just saying, uh, yeah, that computer scared me. Okay. So what else we got? Um, a, oh, he's a North at, at Blackwell. That is such, that is such a collegiate thing to do. Um, okay. University of Washington. Okay. So Oregon being their home state. I knew that part. Um, And then Washington being the next closest state. So he got into the state schools for Oregon, and now it looks like they've got something for University of Washington. Oh, it says re. That means that he emailed them back. Oh, this is him to them. Hello, Chris. Thank you so much for your consideration and generous scholarship offer. I regret to inform you that I've chosen to attend Oregon State in the fall. Thank you for your time. So he probably picked Oregon State, the one with the printed out letter, because it had a full-time scholarship offer, um, whereas these other ones might only be partial. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. Oh my God, you're an idiot, Drew. I'm going to read this first, but then I'm going to talk about why he's an idiot. Um... From Zachary Riggins. I don't recognize that, but quarterback candy. (sighs) Hey, bro, you got any more happy pills? I'm beat as hell. You saw me take that hit for the last night, right? 
no one gets in my boy's grill on my watch, but hook me up, will you? Something just to take over the edge of, oh my god. <sighs> okay, let me explain, let me break down to you why this is the most stupid thing I've probably seen. Why, do you ask? Do I think this is so dumb? First off, you're leaving a paper trail. You are selling illegal substances. You are leaving a paper trail. When you typically... I'm not trying to tell anybody how to do this. Please do not take what I'm saying as an instruction manual. But if you're going to do this... You know, you'd want to, like, you see it in movies, right? You would put it on a burner phone, and you wouldn't have, like, you'd buy the burner phone with cash. Like, you make sure that there is no paper trail coming back to you directly. Number one. Number two. You are doing this on your school emails. He, is, he sent this from his school email to your school email. Not only is there a paper trail, but this is now permanently in the school's servers. Even if you were to delete this email, it is still listed in the school servers. They are going to find this information. If there ever becomes an investigation, they will see this email. Whether or not you have it deleted out of your inbox or not. I'm, I'm just saying, because the school will willingly comply with the investigation and hand over all of their server data regarding your specific communications without you having to sign in to anything. So you're doing something illegal and leaving a paper trail. You're doing it through your school account, which could, in chance, if they happen to find a connection between your academic career and that thing that you're doing illegal it's it's going to make it twice as easy for Oregon State to pull their entire full ride scholarship away from you and you've already emailed one college saying that you're not gonna do this like that you're not gonna go there anymore instead of just like leaving it on the table for a while <sighs> and number three and this 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 is another one that I feel like it's really put in here they say specifically quarterback candy, happy pills, and you're doing something illegal. With also the direct quote, something just to take the edge off is all I need. Here's why that's a bad thing. It directly links the idea between illegal drug use and specifically your athletic career as someone in football. So first off, you could get kicked off of your own school's football team. You could get kicked out of Oregon State um, in general, their football team, and lose your scholarship if they find out about that because guess what? They're going to assume that you're doing roids too. And if you're trying to go to Oregon State with the hopes of eventually going into the NFL down the line, they look at any of of that that I just pointed out, you're not getting in. They're, they're going to drop you instantaneously. Or you're going to lose everything if it comes out in the middle of your NFL career. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. He might have before he screwed himself up. Oh. So he's emailing from himself so he's emailing from his from his like own website essentially to his Blackwell email why would you why would you have that in your school email As, like if you're gonna do some kind of a diary thing right like at, at most I would leave it as like a, a notepad file in my computer because I, I like using notepad notepad's one of my favorite things um you would have that, like, you, you wouldn't want to waste any more of your inbox space. Especially in 2010. You don't have a lot of inbox space. Like, 
especially especially in a school email like the no anyway from himself to himself subject what a game drew what an amazing game oh no this is his dad i need to read before i just go off don't i i couldn't believe what a third quarter conversion you got moves no doubt i spent the day at the library again okay so he's anthony or no sorry his name is Andrew. His dad is Anthony. Oh, my God. Like, forget that I said literally anything. For, anyway, um, if you're ever going to make a diary, don't do it in email. Uh, and most do it in a notepad file because, because if you change computers, every computer uh, that runs on a Windows operating system by default has notepad available, so thereby it will be a readable thing. So if if your other computer starts to go bust, like you could keep just keep the thing on a flash drive and then it'll work on any computer. You don't have to worry about whether or not your computer has Microsoft Word or not. Anyway, it's my two cents. Um, I spent the day at the library again. Computers aren't my thing. Uh, you know that, but I'm trying to learn. It's a remedial skills class Mikey made me promise to take. So I'm going to do that next. See about learning how to type worth a damn. Uh, never had to type on a fishing boat. Taking me forever to send this email. Uh, which is fair. Uh, prospects for work are rough, but you know how it is. Don't worry about your pops. Uh, keep your eye on the damn ball and there's nothing that'll stop you. I'm so proud of you. P.S. Give Mikey a hug for me. I'll be by tomorrow afternoon to take him to the clinic, so don't forget. So, yeah. Essentially, um, Anthony, Drew's dad, is without a job. Mikey, concerned for his father's uh, life, essentially, who hasn't known anything other than fishing for what I'm going to imagine is maybe 20 years, given that his son is in his senior year, right? Um, and the fact that it's 2010... 20 years would put you at 1990. Computers were kind of just becoming a thing in the 90s for, like, using internet usage. Otherwise, it was just mostly, like, wealthier households that, like, had one for novelties. Um, so, yeah, Mikey being concerned would want him to take some sort of courses in how to use that. Too bad I lost my release form. I was really looking forward to running all those sweaty laps. You know what, to be fair, I also would hate that. As an adult now, I understand the importance of, like, actual physical exercise. Um, but I just... I, I prefer anaerobic type of workouts as opposed to aerobic, which I know my doctor straight up is like, you need to, like, run more and, like, sweat and that kind of stuff. Um, and, and that there's more health, uh, benefits to you, but, like, I grew up as a gymnast. Anaerobic, uh, exercises such as, like, stretching and flexibility stuff, those were always more my thing. So, like, whenever I'm like, I feel like working out, I just go back and I do those. So, anyway. Oh, so, Drew was born in 92, and Mikey was born in 96. Man, they skip right over me. Of course he's in April. Of course he is. And of course Mikey's in December. It makes complete sense. Anyway. Um, so they have an emergency contact listed only as their father. His mom passed away? I, I, I would think that mom has passed away because, like, they only have one emergency contact listed. And if the dad is without a job, there's a good chance that right now he might be homeless and, like, that would be an easier situation um, for himself to manage while Mikey just lives with Drew for the time being. I understand the risks involved with my child's slash children's participation in physical education classes at Blackwell Academy. I hereby authorize the staff and faculty of Blackwell Academy to follow their best judgment in case of an emergency, and will accept any medical expenses incurred. Oh, I would not sign that based on that last line alone. Ugh. Because not any medical 
expenses incurred. Like, what if the school is a hundred percent at fault? Like, what? What if? What if school negligence? Yeah, like God, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they just recently finished construction on the track or something, and now it's all screwed up. Like, I would not. I would not. Okay, whatever. <sighs> Is the money in there? I don't know. That's definitely a military... Oh, right. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. Betcha it's Mikey's birth year. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? No, I think that... Uh, I was right. Dad's homeless. He doesn't have a job. There's no mom in the picture. Probably that she uh, passed away is my guess. Um, Arcadia Bay Shelter for the Homeless. 1212 Indigo Lane in Arcadia Bay. And that's why Mikey's living with Drew. <laughs> they look so happy. Yeah, they do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a guess and I'm going to say that she probably passed away from childbirth. Uh, given how healthcare in the United States is, um, not to like be full on ragging, but like statistically, it's proven that if you're a black woman, you're twice or sometimes three times more likely to die uh, in childbirth than a white woman is, and statistically, um, I think like the the chances are already pretty high to die in childbirth as it is, so. I'll, I'll probably have sources for that, uh, like, at a later point. Yep. All right. Well, before we finish wrapping up looking through Hoping Drew's room... Drew with something obvious for his lock combo. Uh, before we go through with stealing the money and running from a guy that probably needs the money to send to his dad, he probably doesn't have the money because he's sending it all to his dad. Oh, my God. Okay. Anyway... That's all the time that we've got for today, so thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Take care, everybody.